Hey guys, Self Thumbs here. Let's make a quick one. Uh, I've had a headache all day, so you know. Uh, worked on one knife today for a while, then uh, went out to go shoot my AR finally, guys. I mean, I've had the AR for a while now, and I have not shot it yet, so I've been trying to find a time to do it, and uh, finally today I was just like, screw it, let's just go. So uh, me and my fiance, we go to the gun range and you can't shoot an AR there. And then I go to another gun range, you can't shoot an AR there. There is no gun ranges anywhere around me that you can actually shoot 226. Any any type, and I don't know, you know, it sucks because I'm like, I'm like itching to shoot this thing, but I just have to drive for like two hours to go somewhere. It's ridiculous. So uh, yeah, that kind of sucks, guys. And then uh, I had a really awesome, awesomely bad experience at this gun shop I went to. It was just crap service. Nobody knew what what anything was. I asked some, I asked them about some Mossbergs, and they just just didn't know what a Mossberg was. That's just incredible. Uh, yeah. So anyway, enough complaining about that. So this one, this knife I did for a good friend uh, is a gift for someone for Christmas. Uh, let me show this after I show you what I worked on a little bit. So I got this one in a trade a while back, and um, yeah, I cut myself, so you know I don't want to uh, bleed on camera or something. Uh, this is the Surefire Charlie, or Delta, I'm sorry. Uh, I got this one in a trade with Sebastian, and uh, like right away the backspacer broke, and you know the backspacer. Hold on. Okay. Well, good timing on losing it, so I don't need it anymore. Well, the backspacer, well, not the backspacer, but the backspacer holds on the pocket clip and the little uh, uh, cutter right here and a pommel. No pommel, though, anymore, so. So, uh, it broke in half. You know, I just tried to put the pommel in, and it just broke instantly. I didn't even put any pressure on it. So, it's a real intricate design, the little aluminum thing, so... And I've been wanting to use this knife because I like it a lot. It came in handy when I used it a few times I did. Uh, so, I finally today I was just like, screw it. I'm sick of seeing this thing in pieces. So, uh, I, didn't, I need to bead blast that. So, I basically got some G10 that was thin. And uh, basically remade it. So, this is in there good. Everything's in there good. Uh, including the pocket clip. Unfortunately, it just looks like crap there. I tapped the hole in the G10 and I screwed it in. And it was like sideways. It's a weird angle you gotta clamp it at. You gotta go down like this way or something. Like, I don't know, it's angle, I don't know. Well anyway, it's finally good. Uh, so I'm gonna start carrying this thing again. Uh, that is, when I get sick of this, I mean, this is still in my damn pocket. I mean, yeah. Glad a lot of you guys are going out grabbing. I saw them for, for sale on Blade HQ last night. Uh, they were in stock, so I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, whatever. So, the pimp job I did today was uh, definitely epic. It's for a good friend. Uh, it's actually a Christmas gift for for a, uh, I forget, the dude's a uh, Boy Scout, and he was the first to graduate in his uh, troop or whatever. Sorry, I leave. <laughs> I forget details, I'm stupid. But anyway, he wanted this thing basically like American and you know, just patriotic and just kick ass. So, red, white, and blue, you know, as much as I love the stars and stripes and everything, uh, on a knife, sometimes it can look pretty cheesy. Um, just straight, red, white, and blue is just straight up just like kind of very in your face. So, I wanted to do something, damn, I forgot to bring it out here. Um, shit, it was sitting right out here. Alright, well, you guys see like the American flag patches, a lot of guys have the green and the OD green and black, uh, instead of red, white, and blue, it's OD green and black. So I basically had that in mind when I did this because I had that patch on my Maxpedition bag, which I was gonna show in the video, but you know, I'm too stupid to remember anything. So you guys have seen it. If you haven't, it, it's just basically an OD green and, and black flag. So it's, I forget exactly what it's for, but you know, it's American. And it's not, you know, it's not bright red, white, and blue, kind of matches your gear. So. All uh, pointless ranting aside, that's what I was going for. So, got Emerson CQC 15. Love this knife. You got the Tonto, the belly, the recurve, the swedge. My spear point this is a good blade all around. And uh, this one, I replaced the pivot screw. I wanted to do something special. 
Uh, I replaced the pivot screw on it with one of those Alpha Knife Supply pivots, uh, which looks really cool. It's, it's kind of bronzed. The light's hitting in a weird way where it looks like it's sideways, but it's not. But it fit perfectly in there. I had to basically cut off some of the the uh, the pivot on the on the other side to get to uh, you know it was a little long. So in this thing, I got the basically OD green and black American flag look. I was trying to try to put a star on this thing, but then I remembered that I can't engrave, and uh, it would have to look it would have to look perfect. I may try to figure something out in the next few days to throw on here to to kind of work with it, but it, it looks sick like this. I think uh, got the nice that pivot's really awesome, and it's made this thing insanely smooth for an Emerson. Centering's perfect, and it's just smooth as butter, rock solid. Um, I don't know if it's their pivot that's is bad or something. I mean, but I mean the tolerances on this pivot are a lot better than this one. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Basically, have a quarter inch hole here. You can basically put it on any knife. Um, this is just sick, though. Polished up all the liners, of course. You get the black uh, black liners next to the stainless steel and titanium liners. And on the inside here, we have the dude's name and uh, you know troop number and everything. I don't want to show it on camera. I'm not sure if I should. And uh, you know, Eagle Scout 2012. So it's engraved on there. It's a special knife. So this is definitely a really really cool knife, and I put a lot of effort into it. Uh, took me two days, of course. The gluing thing is just awesome. I love doing this because I just get covered in glue. It's disgusting. <laughs> I mean, there's no choice. You gotta put it on there. You gotta smooth it. Every crack and orifice has to be completely glued to shit, you know? So that is cemented on there forever. This is like a solid brick of G10 now. So, you know, you see a pin, like a little tiny line here and there. Don't matter. Doesn't affect it whatsoever. As long as it's clean looking, which it is, you know, as long as it's not like down, up, down, up, like teeth or something. But uh, this is just really sick. I love the way it looks. And uh, they see the texturing is different because the G10 is on its side here. Uh, get basically the same thickness sheets of G10, just cut them out. Uh, the corners, uh, the edges of the G10 sheets, so it's flat, perfectly flat on one side. And, uh, you know, you just stack them up and then just basically they're all over the place, different sizes and shapes. They're flat up here and they're flat on the bottom. That's all that matters. Glue them together best you can. Like put every one of them in place. You know, you got to get real dirty and uh, make sure you put it on a liner there. And uh, you know, just wait a day and hope it doesn't fall off a table or shift or something. So I think it turned out freaking awesome. I'm gonna try to figure out something I could do maybe with a star here, but as of right now, you get that American flag look right there. Uh, I think it looks really crazy. It's the first time I've done any striping going downward and vertical. Uh, usually it's always like this. So, it's definitely a really interesting look. Nice low ride clip with a like grayish heat bronze with the uh, 45 auto there. Pivot did definitely did wonders for this Emerson. Seriously, feels awesome. I'm excited to use them on my folders. So, by the way, guys, that's all I got for you today. Just a quick vid. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go watch a movie with my lady and try not to get a migraine. Thanks, guys. Peace.